Some incredibly detailed photos of Mars' little moon have been sent back to Earth. These images of Deimos released today were taken by the United Arab Emirates Amal spacecraft. The sky was alive with vibrant colors across Canada this weekend, with the northern lights seen in places they don't usually appear. CTV's Chris and Ajgate on the rare display. What was supposed to be a quiet Sunday night in for Skylar McDonald and her partner turned into a sudden late night adventure. We were not aware that this was happening. We were actually watching a show. We were about to go to bed. After seeing friends posting photos to social media, they drove out to Cape Breton's Lake Ainsley to capture these stunning images using long exposure photography. It was such a beautiful night and what made it even more beautiful was that the peepers were out and there was loons calling in the distance and it was kind of that first sneak peek of summer nights to come. The light show was so bright it could be seen from parts of Canada and the United States. That was the best show I've ever seen last night. It was absolutely incredible. Stephen Brown decided to leave his home in Calgary and drive more than an hour to clearer skies. He snapped these photos in Canmore while surrounded by mountains. It's just something that you can't force. It happens when Mother Nature says it's going to happen. So to actually be there to witness it, it sends shivers down your spine. It's absolutely incredible. According to experts, the lights are a result of a large geomagnetic storm after a solar flare erupted from the sun. Those colors, what we see, is caused by interactions from charged particles from the sun, so electrons, protons, interacting with our atmosphere. Tiffany Fields is an astronomy technician who operates this robotic telescope at St. Mary's University in Halifax. In her 10 years in Nova Scotia, this is only her second time seeing the Northern Lights. The Northern Lights here in Nova Scotia is generally a pretty rare phenomenon. Generally, we're too far south to really see the Northern Lights. Researchers predict these intense colors will be seen more often as the sun reaches the end of its 11-year cycle in 2025. Chris Nachkate, CTV News, Halifax.